This is Camduck smoke detector hidden camera. Now it is not a smoke detector because the smoke detecting on it is not a thing. So it is a decoy smoke detector with a hidden camera in it. So it can go up to 1080p, which is four megapixel sensor inside. By the way, it's actually really good. It's really good. And the camera is right here on the middle. I'm not sure if you can see that, but you cannot see it's right here, not in here or here. These are for other stuff. This is your main button. But before I go full around on the camera, let me show you what else is in the box before you waste time looking for the other stuff, which the first would be your user's manual the camdoc 007 this is the official user's manual then you have to lift this white part out because we have some accessories inside this box right here i like that you have a usb c keep that in mind for in a minute we have mounts or screws that you can mount if you want to mount it to either a wall or a ceiling right here and we have these two other things. Let me just close this real quick. So these are the items you get in the box, as you saw. Besides those, we have what looks like a guitar pick, but it's not a guitar pick. It is to open the uh, compartment where the SD card, micro SD card goes and the USB-C goes. And yes, this has multiple ways of being powered. And this is your micro SD card uh, USB reader and uh, just in case you don't know here on the back there's an open slot that you can plug your micro sd card just like that right there and you plug this to your computer and you can download the files read the files and all that good stuff really good touch to include this i appreciate that now let's get to the camera so we can go through everything the camera is a 360 camera it's a ptz that means it will rotate with motors all around and this i'm doing it manually but you can rotate it from the app we're gonna take a look at that in just a second the mount here on the back is a standard smoke detector mount so it is actually just like the smoke detector mounts that you have in the house and it goes just like this and mounts now besides that here's where the battery goes it is an 18650 rechargeable lithium ion battery this is where your uh, 120 or 220 volts connector is if you decide to go with that which is hard wiring it to a 110 volts or 220 volts you can choose to go this way if you want to but i'll give you the other options as well and your other options is one of them right here you open this tiny little door and this is where you find your usb-c connection as you see right there this is your reset pinhole yes it is a full reset and this is the micro sd card i already have one inside just to show you that it is an actual real sd card i have a 32 gigs but you can go up to 128 gigs if you wish so just like that and the supplied usb c really good quality quite a sizable length yep just like this it plugs in here and recharges the battery so you have three routes well two but let's call it three one is battery that you have to recharge or keep it in charge the second is direct plug with a usb-c and the third is 110 up to 220 volts direct hard wire in my case i will go with a usb-c the ca the battery is supposed to hold up to six hours by itself and do not forget the polarity here it comes with a tab that you will see right here that you remove in order for the camera to turn on at this moment the camera should turn on you'll see two lights there when it's your first time turn it on then you install the app and know that this light will stay blinking the blue light and since we are here let me get to the app really quick the app is really easy you have a user's manual here by the way to find the app as you see right here it says search for cixicm and you'll see that little ducky right there just like here and you get to this app right here to install just like that let me open it up you hit start mine is already connected is i already have a few other things that i have from this company i would say now at this point let me put the cam duck right here in front of it so you can actually see it filming in real time okay click play and as you see it is directly uh connected right now the screen right here 
Not sure if you can see that. It is actually really clean. This is my hand right here somewhere. Grabbing this box. It is it is really good. And right now I'm on 4 megapixel. You can go 1080. 4 megapixel is the highest. And look at the rotation part that I told you. That it has the motors inside. As you see, it is scanning my entire room right now. And you click the other way to spin the other way. And this is really, really beautiful. And besides that you you have two other buttons right here the left and right of course is to spin the camera around if you click the plus and minus look what happened you can actually zoom quite good to a lot of objects right here and yes you can flip uh images around if you wish so just like that as you see right here and this other one here too and right now it's kind of in a better focus i'm gonna go to this fan this is really a beautiful camera in my opinion and right here you can take a picture as you see i just took a picture and next to it you can start recording directly to your phone so this file will be saved internally on your phone right now and let me just stop the recording video success and let's get back to the main menu but when you first uh, open the camera and all that make sure it has enough battery or plug it either directly to a wall or whatever you want or plug directly the USB-C like you see right here to a regular USB charger to make sure that you have enough power. Then you hold the button to turn it on until the uh, blue light starts blinking. And yes, the blue light will keep blinking until you see the prompt here to actually continue and it will tell you what to do. And then it will tell you to connect to the Wi-Fi from this camera. Yes, this camera will broadcast its own Wi-Fi and you connect to it first. Then you will see the camera like you see here. Then it will uh, give you the option to connect to your own router, whether it's a 2.4 gigahertz or a 5 gigahertz. You can connect to either of them or you can do that even after you go here to settings and you have network information if you want to change these things camera information wi-fi configuration you can reconfigure it to connect to a different network if you wish so i'm not going to because i already have it set up really nice and besides that it is actually really really good camera and i'm not sure if you can see there's a little battery sign right there on the top right corner that's the battery and yes as i said the battery will last at around six hours on a full charge but in my case i am going to use the uh usb c or i might go the route of removing one of my uh sidewall smoke detectors just to leave this camera for the pets because i really like how you can actually keep an eye on your pets or a child or whatnot when you're away from home so yeah it connects directly to the app and besides that one recommendation that you don't really need to be told but i have to tell you do not do not remove your smoke detector thinking that this will replace your smoke detector it will not replace a smoke detector because this is not a smoke detector this is only a decoy smoke detector but in reality is a camera and with that said link will be down below on description for where to get one of these there's two options one in amazon and one on their own site amazon is affiliate their own site is not affiliate but i just like to showcase companies and products that actually make sense to me this is a beautiful product that is not a gimmick and that it's fully working. As you see, I can spin it around anytime I want. I really like that. And I can zoom in and check what's going on with my lamp right there. <laughs> or I can check if the AC vent is open. Well, look at that. I don't need to go to the AC vent myself. I can zoom in. Whoa, that's actually a lot of zoom. Is that AC vent you see right there is quite far from this camera. This is really good. Good job, uh, Camda. They did a really beautiful job here. Let me put this uh, cover back on. We are good to go with this one and yeah pretty much that is all i could tell you about this camera and with that said please like and subscribe check the link below i'd be much appreciate appreciative if you do so share it with somebody and we'll see you next time bye